Welcome to CellTech. Today we're going to talk about doing a gravel lock concrete layover. What I'd like you to do is go to our website and pull off the concrete layover CAD drawing in the gravel lock section under CAD. This will give you the details that you need. Step 1. Preparing the concrete surface. Depending on if the concrete is old or new, there's several different ways you can go about doing this. Let's talk about old concrete. You just need to pressure wash it and get it dust free. Now, if the concrete was just poured, you need to let it cure. Most concrete takes 15 to 30 days to cure. Before cleaning the concrete, you'll want to cut, prepare any edge that you're going to run up against. Step one, prepare your stones. Make sure they're clean and dry. Then they'll be ready to use. Step two, we use measurements. We fill up five gallon buckets with the stone. Then we add 18 ounces of liquid to our mix. That's 18 ounces of gravel lock to 5 gallons of gravel. We are going to start here where the concrete meets the asphalt. We cut the asphalt and we removed a little bit more than we're going to do a layover. We're going to stay at about an inch over the concrete. And where the concrete meets the asphalt, we're going to dig it out about 2 to 3 inches. This will ensure a strong joining edge. Now we take gravel lock and a regular old paint roller and we are going to paint the surface of the concrete with the gravel lock. This roll coat over the concrete will make sure that the gravel is going to bond to the concrete. Now put your stones with mixed with gravel lock over concrete and spread them out with the trowel. We're going to follow the CAD drawing. We need to put a minimum of an inch of stone over the concrete. What I did in this case was make a screed board. I used two one inch eye hooks on the end of the board which acts as a guide. This speeds up the job and makes it more efficient. We're going to work in like three to four foot sections. Getting ahead of yourself will just make a mess. Now you can tell your guys to speed up the process on mixing stone. The guys that are in charge of laying it out need to be somewhat of a finisher. Just like the guys who finish concrete. And the guy who's finishing, when he walks or steps in it, makes it easier for him. But you don't want him to track that anywhere, so he's the only person that needs to step in the gravel lock. Once you got it screeded out, now you're ready to put the finish on it. You're going to trowel this left, right, up and down. Make it as smooth as possible. Applying a little pressure is necessary. That'll make sure all the stones are good and tight. Then you just tighten up your edge and then continue working down the sidewalk. Apply another three or four feet of roller coat over the concrete. Add more stone. Then all you have to do is keep repeating this process. A crew of four, two people mixing, one person spreading, and one delivering the stones should be able to do about 1,500 to 2,000 square foot in a day. This job was 2,400 square feet we had five people working. We had five guys working on this job. The job was 2,500 square feet. We finished 2,000 square feet in a single day. Once we got the system down with the guys making gravel, another guy jumped on and started helping screeding. Now stone selection is very important. If you're trying to stay ADA compliant, you need to use stones that are eighth inch to a quarter inch in size. And if you choose angular stones, they pack together better, they have a larger contact patch than round stones, and they give you a better grip. If you choose round stones, you might need to add some silicon grip sand to the roll coat when it's wet, because some round stones get a little slippery when you use gravel lock. So you will need to do that process to make sure that you stay ADA compliant. So this job did not get completed in one day. We simply use a 2x4 to give us a nice square edge so tomorrow when we start we can fill in a nice clean edge. The next day you need to apply the roll coat. You need to allow 24 hours for gravel lock to dry before applying a roll coat. It's the same process that we used when we put it on the concrete for the gravel to adhere to the concrete. You just get a paint roller and a paint roller pan, fill the pan with gravel lock and roll on gently. Gravel lock will only cure so thick, so you do not need to goop it on. You can apply two or three coats if you would like. 
but we recommend at least one coat, two for commercial applications. The roll coats are very important. You need a double or triple bond on the surface stone. Occasionally, if you apply too much gravel lock on the roll coats, you have what's called foaming. Here's where someone laid down the roller and gravel lock dripped off and puddled under the surface. Then after a while, you have a chemical reaction. You have too much liquid in one spot and it starts to cure from inside. Therefore, that's what happens when you do that. It bubbles. This is easy to fix. Just remove the areas, mix up some gravel with gravel lock, and patch the spot. Celtech wants to thank you for your time and learning about gravel lock layovers. If you have any questions, please call us on our toll-free number or get us on the website. And thanks again for your interest in gravel lock.